statements. After finding her passport at home, the police began to suspect that this case might become more than a routine missing persons inquiry. Detective Chief Inspector Gary Flanagan says they're gravely concerned for Suzanne's safety. They also found her cat, Mercury. Friends said she adored the cat and would never have gone away without making arrangements for her. Robert and Sylvia Pilly are distraught. Their daughter's been missing for a week. They say Suzanne had no financial, health or relationship problems. They simply can't understand how she could have disappeared during the morning rush hour only seconds from her office in Edinburgh's new town. She got off a bus on Princess Street at 10 to 9 last Tuesday morning, walked up the hill to a Rose Street supermarket, then headed on towards her work as a bookkeeper for a firm in Thistle Street, but she never arrived. Yet, even as these appeals were going out, the police already had their suspicions. Their inquiries had begun to focus on one man, who they believed was directly involved in Suzanne's disappearance. David Gilroy. David had been a colleague of Suzanne's for the past year and his behaviour following her disappearance had attracted attention. David had gone to keep an appointment out of town, but when he was asked to come to the police station for questioning, it took him a long time to get there. And when he sat down at the table in the interview room, police officers noticed scratches on the back of his hands. The police would come to believe that David had murdered Suzanne Pilly and that he had hidden her body to avoid being caught. The police also had a possible motive having found emails from David on Suzanne's work computer that suggested they were having an affair. So, several weeks after Suzanne's disappearance, with no other suspects in the frame, David Gilroy was charged with the murder of Suzanne Pilly. And almost two years later, after a trial lasting 24 days, a jury at Edinburgh Sheriff Court returned their verdict. David Gilroy was found guilty of killing Suzanne in the basement of the office that they both worked in on Thistle Street, then disposing of her body hundreds of miles away in the beautiful and remote Argyle Forest. The sentencing remarks of the judge, Lord Brackerdale, were broadcast to the nation. David Gilroy, would you stand, please? Suzanne Pilly was uh, obviously a respected and well-liked member of staff in Thistle Street in the office in which you and she both worked. You lost your temper and murdered her in a sustained attack. With quite chilling calmness and calculation, you successfully disposed of the body. On charge six, the charge of murder, I sentence you, as I am required by law to do, to life imprisonment. I order that you serve a punishment part of 18 years. That is all. Would the escort take the prisoner down, please? The verdict offered some relief to Suzanne's family, but they were still desperate to be able to lay her body to rest. And in 2018, they issued a fresh appeal for anyone with knowledge to come forward. This is Suzanne's sister, Gail, and her mum, Sylvia. I think every time she's mentioned, you struggle with the fact that she's not been found. I think it's hard to think about her because we just don't know where she is. It's as if she didn't matter and she's gone and we can't do anything about it. We hope one day she will be found. We asked Suzanne's family to take part in this project but they told us that they didn't want to be involved in something that questioned David's conviction. They stand firm in their belief that David is guilty of murdering their daughter. But did David commit murder? It's the ultimate crime, the most serious in Scottish law, and the one which brings the harshest sentence. But here, we found a case with no forensic evidence, no blood, no hairs or DNA. No witnesses, no body, no weapon, and no confession. And there is a man at the heart of it who claims the system has got it wrong. A man who has now spent nine years protesting his innocence. It got us wondering how hard it might be to prove you were innocent after a court had found you guilty. But also whether we could spot a liar. And whether we could find a truth amongst so many unanswered questions.
for the last two years.